Look, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's Superman. than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to soar higher than any plane, this amazing stranger from the planet Krypton, the man of steel, Superman. Possessing remarkable physical strength, Superman fights a never-ending battle for truth and justice, disguised as a mild-mannered newspaper reporter, Clark Kent. On this peaceful island, crowned by the great volcano Mount Mauna Kea, occurred the mightiest eruption that ever shook the earth, burying the beautiful city beneath it in molten lava and creating destructive tidal waves that raced around the world. For 300 years, this mighty volcano lay dormant. A new and more beautiful city sprang up at its base. But now, after centuries of inactivity, slight tremors are being felt. At the Bureau of Meteorology, a group of scientists watchfully check delicate instruments to determine the seriousness of this renewed activity. And I want you to send me some real stories. Now, here are your steamship tickets, and here are your press passes. You'll need these down there. Goodbye, good luck, and for Pete's sake, see if you two can work together for a change. Right, Chief. So long. Say, Lois, do you have my press pass? What makes you think I've got it? Sorry, sir, but you'll have to get one down at headquarters. Thanks. Uh, you go on ahead, Lois, and I'll join you later. Now, what did I do with that? Poor Clark. Too bad he lost his pass. <laughs> indications, we can expect things to start popping at any time. In order to save the city, we've decided to blast the higher rim of the crater, thereby diverting the flow of lava away from the city and into the ocean below. Is the chief in? I'd like to see him about a press pass. He'll be back shortly. Won't you have a seat? Thanks. here. Hello? Hello? Send up that car in a minute. Hello? 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 Miss Lane?
This looks like a job for Superman. How's the story coming, Lois? Oh, fine, Clark. Too bad you weren't in on it. Maybe I would have been if I hadn't lost my past.